Welcome back. This is time for JavaScript challenges and the challenge right now is first factorial. I know a lot of you know what what is factorial is. So let's go to the code. Wait, what? You don't? Okay, if you don't understand what is factorial is, I'm going to explain that really quick. So if we have a 4 factorial, we have a 24 because 4 times 2 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 is going to be 24. If we have 3 factorial, we get 6 because 3 times 2 times 1 is going to be 6. If we have a 8 factorial, we get this result. And if we have 2 factorial, it's going to be 2 times 1, it's going to be 2. And if we have 1, it's going to be 1. If we have 0, we get to 1. I know you have already learned that in the high school, so I think you're really familiar with factorial, okay? So let's copy this script and paste in here. So let's make it common for every single solution. In the first solution, we have a for loop. Okay, so let's remove the read, read line function in here. We don't need that. Okay, let's send maybe three. Okay, if I run this function, it's gonna be three in the console. Okay, so let's get rid of this. Okay. Now let's create a for. In here we need to let i equals to zero, and as long i less than num, we need to i plus plus. In here let's console.log i. Okay, if I run this function, we have zero one two. Uh, but we send three. Okay. We send three parameter. I need to show in the console if is one, two, and three. Okay, not zero, not start from zero. So let's change this to one. And we don't need less than, we need to less than or equals. So now we have one, two, three. Okay, so far so good. In here, let's create a variable called result it's going to be equals to one and in here what I need to do is result equals to result times i okay and that's it in here let's return result and i run this function we get six and that's it but if i send zero what happened we get one. Oh, yeah, cool. If I run minus one, we get one. We don't need that. Okay, so let's create the if statement in here. If num less than zero, what we need to do is return nothing. Okay, just return. So now if the minus one, we get undefined. Cool. That's it for the first solution. The second solution, we can use i minus minus in here. Okay. But I want to copy that. Copy that and paste down here. Okay. So now I want to remove everything in here. Okay, so create four again. So now I want to create let i equals to num as long i more than zero. What we need to do is i minus minus. And in here, let's console.log that i run 
and we get undefined. Oh, what happening? Well, because because we send that to minus one, so let's change that to three. Run. Now we have a three, two, one. Okay, let's comment that out. So we get three, two, one. Cool. That's what we want. So in here, let's do result. Result equals to result times e. Okay. Run and we have the same exactly thing. Okay, that's it. So let's copy and comment that out. Okay. And the third solution we have recursion. Okay. Recursion. So let's paste in here. So let's get rid of this. And in here, what we need to do is create an else. No else. We need to else if. Because we need to set the condition in here. So if num gonna be equals to zero, we need to return one. Return one. Okay. In here, we need to do something else. We need to return num times first factorial nums dash one. Okay. So if we run this function now we get an error okay so let's see what happening um yeah we wrong typing first in here first okay it's worked just fine so but what happening in here and you know what guys when i learn recursion i i get uh some confusing about what happening basically but in here, I want to explain to you what happened, okay? We have num, and the num come from the property. That's what we send in this uh, console, all right? So num have a value 3, all right? And we multiply that. And first factorial, let's copy that. In here, num now is three, right? So three decrement one, we get two. Okay, cool. So again, now we have first factorial. We have a new parameter in here, which is two. So two is going to be pasting in here, and in the first if statement, it's going to be false. And in here is false again, and this run this again. Okay, so num right now is have a value too, right? Come from here. Okay, and we multiply that because in here we multiply that. Okay, so if num right now have a value too, of course in here two minus one is going to be one right so let's copy this and paste in here and now it's going to be one okay and now we get the value in this num is one all right it's come from here so one now it's false in here it's false in here again so it's going to be run this again okay so we have a num now is one it's going to be times first factorial let's copy that again now we have one minus one so we get zero okay okay that if if we have 
num is zero now we have zero right so in this condition it's going to be false but in this condition it's going to be true right because num now it's zero okay so we have the value one so let's do in here one times remember this is have value one come from here okay so one times one okay makes sense okay so two times let's do in here so remember first factorial one it's similar like this okay because first factorial one we send the number to one okay and this is gonna be zero right because one minus one is gonna be zero basically it's just just same this and this okay so basically we can copy this and paste in here because two times it's this and factorials one is one times one okay make sense in here we have three multiple let's do in here first factorial two is gonna be this okay so we can copy this and paste in here and now we get the result three times two is six six times one six times one six so we get six right here so that's the reason why we have six in the console okay that i hope that makes sense guys but my english is not fluent so it's really hard for me to explain that but i found really good article so this article written by brandon morley i put link in the description below if you want to read this article which is really good article okay so let's comment that out everything in here and the last solution we have while loop so now let's copy this and paste in here let's get rid of this okay the first is let's create a variable call result let's set to num and in here we need to using if statement okay if num less than zero we need to return nothing okay else if num is zero we need to return one okay so in here we need to while all right while num more than one we need to num minus minus in here we need to result equals to result times num okay so under the while loop we need to return the result okay that's it let's get rid of this function and we need to send three and run this function and we have six that's it so what happened basically is we set the result equals equals to num so result now have value three all right because it's come from here okay so result in here have a value three let's comment that out okay have a value three times num right now have a value two because the first time we send three right three in this num so we have num in here three and in here we decrement that okay so we have to
3 times 2 is going to be 6. And of course, in here we have 6. Okay. 6 times num right now is 2. Okay. So 2 minus minus is going to be 1. And it's equals to 6. Okay. Num right now is 0. But 0 is not in this while. Okay, so it's not running in here, so it's stop. So that's the reason we get the 6. I think that's it for this video, and I'm going to see you in the next video, and bye!